What's up guys? It's time for some arena domination. I have been testing a lot this week and kind of shuffling around the builds, playing with the new stuff. Soon with Aphidius, but or Aphidius, but not yet. I think we'll get the actual patch update like next week. They always do this thing that they announce some champion buffs and then it takes like a week for them to actually happen. They're kind of teasing us super hard. I would want to play with him instantly, but outside of that, I have been doing lots of actually changes recently, which sometimes months go by and I barely change any bills on anybody. But I did lots of small things, like this is not a lot of accuracy, but I put Necrath in Polymorph, put a little bit accuracy, it's often not enough, honestly, I should build some more on him, but I did a lot of stuff, I actually rebuilt my Duchess a little bit. I've been using mod a lot lately. Actually, mod right now is my most used uh, reviver, and I pretty much pick her in every battle now. And early on, I'll explain it more on the video. <laughs> and that's despite having like attack amulet and crappy five star ring on her. You you'll see why I'll explain it more in the battles. It it's because of the meta, like the champions, like. Um, Marius and Galatir are picked in basically every single battle and she's just incredibly useful because of her cleanse and also the boss trip is very useful oftentimes if you can safely without having any chance to get polymorphed get rid of their boss and instantly kill them it's very good especially like in combination to some of my typical tactics like using Galleus I don't want them to have immunity buff so that I can put the defense down on them and one-shot them. Otherwise, he doesn't really do <laughs> do any damage at all, to be honest. But there's multiple other things. I've done lots of small tweaks. I kind of went on and off from using Duchess, and then I went back to using her a lot. I have my candy. There's all sorts of stuff, so let's see how well we do today. In the last few sessions, honestly, I've been doing super well, and I haven't done like full sessions where I have time to play the entire two hours, but I do like five battles or whatever, and I often win all of them. I hope I'm not jinxing myself, but let's see how we do today. So the way I have been doing it recently, and like I said, this mostly has to do with the meta and what champions people tend to pick, is that I actually open with my mod and Narses instead of Ankara and Narses, and there's multiple reasons for it, but the main reason I might pick, I often will pick both Ankara and Maud, but I pretty much want to have Maud in every single battle, necessarily not Ankara in every one of them, and I do want to get the Polymorph as the first slot in our team. By the way, now I have enough tokens to get the 6 star blessing on Narthus. I had that available in the shop like 2 weeks ago, but I didn't have enough for it, I think I missed like 50 or something. I hope I get that soon. and. Then I'm gonna have a very heavily polymorph team. Okay, so we're going with the Ukraine duo. I usually like to just go Rotos and UDK against this. Rotos is very good to get like get by the marriage capacity, which can be devastating in many situations if you pair it with another reviver like Sifi. I mean, it's always Sifi, to, to be clear. I mean, all of these people have Sifi. It's always going to be Sifi. They, they, the, the combo wouldn't be as good if you put any other reviver in it. And often it's like, you know, Maritska, Sifi, Siegfried, uh, Lazarus, you know. <laughs> All of the Nougars these days, nice, are revivers as well. So, Oh, he went with Duchess. Interesting. And he went with Wukong, even though I already picked the... UDK. I guess it must be some kind of hybrid Wukong with a good amount of um, accuracy. I could basically pick anything here, but let's just go with the Ankara then. I, I like this matchup. I think this is totally winnable, but I'm assuming that this guy must have good gear because I'm a little bit surprised he's running this type of team against me. It almost seems too too good to be too true, to be honest. 
On paper, I can totally beat this team, but let, let's see. Maybe he has some insane bills. But yeah, I've been, I've been having fun actually in the last week because of the Galleos uh, pull and Candy pull and you know, like the new, new setups with more and so on. And now we're even getting the Aphidius buff next week, so I'm super excited about that. Now again, none of those are actually like top tier. It's not you know, Siegfried, Lazarus, nice. I mean, they are definitely better by far, but Galleus and Aphidius are gonna be pretty good actually, so it's a massive upgrade for me. Okay, so here, here for instance, this often, you know, kind of <laughs> cucks my Rotos, is that they have, th this used to be popular, not anymore, but he gets the Whale up and he has the Stone Skin Duchess, but Mord is not only a Reviver and a Cleanser, but a Buff Stripper. Okay, looks like we didn't get lucky, we didn't get rid of the stone skin, but we did get rid of the whale on Taras, and that's enough that we can at, at least do something with Rodos here and steal some HP and we're not gonna waste turn. And oftentimes, like their nukers, maybe Lazarus or whoever, I get rid of their stone skin on mod, and I can actually kill them before they get a turn. Happens quite often, actually. See, if if I didn't do the buff strip on Mord now, my Rotos would have wasted two turns and he would be dead by now. But we stole out of HP and Taras didn't get any turns and now he's screwed. Though my Mord is pretty much dead, that's not too good. But okay, yeah, she's not gonna take any damage, so I guess it's fine. She's gonna heal herself a little bit, but not that much. Gatsus is usually my tanky reviver. Mord does do the heals on the A2 and passive, but she's not gonna like top herself up at this point. Maybe UD can, can help a little bit. I think if I can kill the Taras before it gets a turn, I think, okay, probably my mod is actually not even gonna take any damage at this point. Also, I'm getting very unlucky against this Wukong. Wukong is having best time of his life in, in this battle. Unless he procced, like, yeah, unless he procced some kind of cooldown reset, which there is, you know, multiple options to do that these days, he wasn't gonna have abilities. Um, I don't want to use the nuke here. I think we're just gonna do A1, because Rodos doesn't have enough turn meter to actually cut in. Probably we wouldn't actually have killed that. Eh, probably I would have, actually. She doesn't have defense buff or anything, so there's a good chance that my... Narsus might have one shot the Maritska. It could have been close, but I don't want to take the risk. It probably was around like 50-50 50, 50 would she get one shot or barely survive, but I didn't want her to die. Hmm. Wukong is gonna go first, otherwise we could block revive him. Oh, oh, okay, interesting. Uh, what do we want to do here? I think I think in either instance we're good. I, yeah, let's just go for Maritzka kill. Now his revivers are not coming back. You know, my Rodos is strong. People know it. That's why I face Arima and UDK or R base in almost every battle. But sometimes it kind of slips in and <laughs> they forget about it. Like th that's what I was saying about the matchup at the start of the battle. That. It almost seems too easy. Well, I mean, <laughs> he almost ended me here, as you can see, but basically we're fine. But um, this matchup or this team comp that he has is super strong. It used to be like, you know, meta team in Live Arena a while ago, picked in almost every battle. But these days, I'm actually very comfortable with this setup, and people don't really often pick it against me, and if they do, and I get the Rodos, I'm usually good. I mean, I definitely can lose it, but most of the time I'm gonna win that matchup, so. And I think that battle even could have gone better, because um, the, the Wukong was stealing my stone skin at the start, I think, and I don't think I got any extra turns unless I 
misremember, but it could have gone even better than that. Anyway, 13k point opponent, interesting. Also, what do you guys think about the Forge Pass we have going on right now? I'm not even sure if I want to buy it. I think it's the Slayer set. Uh, it's incredibly good just if you get like 1 to 3 piece on accessories for some extra damage on anybody. But Stone Skin Lethal is just so, so good. Not that I can do it on everybody, but I don't know if I actually want to... He got the Narciss. Yeah, we must go with Rotos and UDK here. I don't really know if I want to, like... If I had a really good Slayer set, uh, available for, like, Defense Snooker, and then I have, like, a mediocre Stone Skin Lethal set for my Marius, which I don't have yet, very soon, I would go with the Stone Skin. I don't think I would go for more damage on, on him. I would go for Stone Skin and more speed, I think. That would be the priority. So I don't know if I actually want to really use Slayer set on anybody in PvP right now, even if I have the choice. Okay. This is kind of bad, bad matchup. Not only... Actually, I've seen many people are doing this to me, that they run triple nuker and they get both Harima and Marius. I don't tend to do super good against these teams, honestly, but let's see. Who do we want to ban? I'm almost feeling like we should actually go for the Sifi ban. That way he doesn't get the immunity. I mean, Warlord can do the immunity, but he's gonna open with the lockout, so... I think we'll do this and pray that we don't get our stone skin removed from Galleus or he gets many reaction procs or something like that. He has one piece of reaction and four piece stone skin, so he he has both of those things. He could he could um, he could survive even if the stone skin gets stolen. I don't know if that really ever happened yet. But I'm sure it's gonna happen in some battle. And the enemy is gonna be super confused about it. Damn, we lost the stone skin. I don't know if Marius is gonna go before his nukers. Please do the A2. Don't do the A3. Okay. Reaction? No, okay. Instant loss. <laughs> That, that's what happens against Marius in Go Second Teens. It's three hits, th the chance of you not getting buff stripped on your stone skin is kind of low, so it's gonna happen. Obviously, you know, he could have... Uh, I could have kept the stone skin on everybody, Th that's a possibility, but it's RNG. Also, I kind of, you know, gave up on the speed tactics for now. I was running super fast Mikage, which is, I think it was 381, which is the maximum speed I can do on her. And it's not, it's just not good enough, you know. At this rating, most people are like 460, not like less than 380, and it's not even close. I'd rather have her in 4P stone skin than maximum speed I can do. It's just, you know, it sucks. I hope we get some other ways to fight against speed teams again. The speed teams kind of, you know, keep going back and forth in meta, that sometimes they are super dominating and nothing else matters except speed. And then sometimes we've even had like slow meta where <laughs> where people build their new girls as slow as possible. Like back in the day when reaction was new and Dranda was the main new girl in Classic Arena. But right now we're back to speed meta and Marius is enabling it super hard, but we have other stuff like Armans and Lazarius and Quixia and so on.
but yeah, I, I was um, I was speaking about the library in a tier list last week when I was kind of away from home half of the week. I think I'll I'll try to do it tomorrow. I think we need to do some updated tier lists. I don't think really. Let me double check. Is anybody actually doing them? I mean, people do them, but I don't think they do them very often. And obviously, you know, not not to not to crap on anybody, but you know, most of the content creators are not as heavily invested in PvP as you know, a couple of people are. So. I think we go for Duchess in, in this battle. Even if he picks UDK at this point, I I can just ban it. I think he's probably gonna pick it actually if I don't pick it, but I'm kind of tempted to go Duchess instead of UDK. Yeah, let, let's do this. We're gonna have double re reviver this way and a lot of polymorph. Oh, Crucian made a live arena tier list. Yeah, it's four months ago, actually. A lot of things have changed, changed, but it, yeah, looks like there is not a lot of live arena tier lists. Like literally, when I search live, okay, a little bit deeper there. Wait. Oh, Grixia. In that instance, should we ban one of the nukers or steal Grixia? No, let's ban Grixia. I'm kind of tempted to go for the Harima ban, to be honest, but now nah, let's let's go for Grixia. Grixia, Grixia Taras is too powerful. So yeah, if we look at the tier lists... Wait, is this a tier list? No, no, it's not a tier list. So the only three tier lists that we find about Live Arena is um, Cruzen four months ago, me six months ago, and <laughs> me ten months ago. and. Obviously, the meta changes a lot, so it's time to do another one. The, the meta has changed so much in the last few months. We, we were crying about it for a year that, like, I think Taras and Maritzka were released in, like, December, like, two years ago. And the meta didn't change for, like, um, a little bit more than a year. Like, not a single change, not, not a single new champion that became... Wait, do I have enough damage to... Block revive it. No, okay. Should have just gone for the A too. That that was a mistake. I might end up regretting that one. Can I remove this defense buff at least? But yeah, the meta meta didn't change at all. Not not even a single bit for more than a year. Everybody in the arena screen arena scene was crying about it and not happy. And now we we we're like <laughs> we're getting meta changes every other week, and you know people complain about it, but sometimes, but it's way better than not having anything. It it keeps the game a little bit more fresh. Obviously, I wish that we would have some nerves sometimes and more more buffs, but some nerves too. But I definitely prefer that we get some new champions that shake up the meta like oftentimes even though basically i'm never getting them not when they're like fresh new and op at least but it's still uh, much more fun this way i mean i am getting marius and everybody gets him everybody got ankara and armands and you had pretty you know viable chance to get narses Possibly without any spending, but also with like a little bit spending. So I, I almost consider Nars as like free to play friendly champion. So those were really good ones this year that everybody could basically get. I think like I I had to buy some shards. I think was it like 40 voids or something like that? Most voids that I have ever bought. But I think all of the free to play content creators like Final Ken Bachi and Boots or and so on. I think every single one of them had void saved and all of them got narcissus as well. So I think that kind of uh, <laughs> that kind of speaks up for it. Okay, we're doing pretty good. You know, 
like I said, I'm being busy, you know. The um, fall season is up, I'm doing some stuff in real life too, and I've had some business deals, so, you know, been hanging out with some people actually this week and kind of doing lots of things, so I haven't done like daily live arena videos, which I used to do and Biohack is doing, but I usually play like a couple of battles every day and I have been doing very good this week, way better than I have for a while and actually it was going kind of well in the last couple of months, but last week I've been climbing a lot. And, well, I don't hate to say it. I was going to say I hate to say it, but that would have been a lie. I don't hate to say it. Big part of that is Maud. I have been hyping up Maud ever since they announced her. And everybody has been saying that I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be disappointed when I get her. You know, some people were calling me delusional for saying that Maud is going to be a good champion for Live Arena. But honestly, I think she, she's actually kind of meta champion. She's like anti-meta, but she's so good at what she's doing and nobody else is doing it that she's actually meta because of that. That's the way I feel like, honestly. I, I feel like half of the battles where I use Mord, if I didn't have her, I, I would have zero chance winning them. Unless, you know, I polymorph like all of their nougars and supports on, on the first turn that they use their abilities. Damn, we're kind of in a hard spot again. I guess I'll have to go with Galleos because I can't pick Rotos yet. I hope he picks two supports. That way I wouldn't have to go with UDK. Or maybe, maybe this guy would have R base anyway, so... Okay, he already picked UDK and nice. He, he has, you know, like a sick team. Nice is like the best Nougar actually right now. No, not even top 3, I would say that Nice is the best Nougar in, in the game, so... Feel free to debate about it, it to me in the comments, but he, he totally is. Uh, what, what do I even do here? I have to go with Candy, I guess. <laughs> I wish the Aphidius buff would have happened because we would go with Aphidius, but can't do it. I have to go with Candy and Angora, I guess. <sighs> do I have to do this? Let's go with Candy and Necret. I think, I feel like he, probably he's smart enough that he's gonna guess what I'm gonna go for here, but I'm gonna go for a, Narcissus ban and pray that he doesn't uh, doesn't realize that I'm gonna do it. Also, even if he doesn't ban Armons, which he might do if he gets what I'm gonna do. Okay, he's gonna ban Necret, I'm pretty sure, since he picked Comidos, but if he were to not ban Armons, which I think he might actually do here, that he's gonna ban Necret, maybe. maybe or maybe he just goes for the Mord ban, but he can weak hit on Armands on Grixia. I'm sure he's gonna go... Oh, he banned it. I was gonna say that I'm sure he's gonna go before my Armands on his Grixia. Maybe he wasn't actually confident about it, but... I thought he would. And... Even if he did, he could weak it, and... My Armands probably would still... Go before the rest of his champions, so... Maybe that's why he did it. Maybe he didn't want to take any risks, but... I'm getting the immunity buff from Necret now, so I'm at least not getting instantly one shot on everybody, I hope. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I will. They did the update on Candy a long time ago. I think it took them forever to do it, but I'm pretty sure UDK passive is not gonna take both hits from Candy anymore, and it's only gonna take one hit. I, at least I hope so, but we'll, we'll see. We're kind of down to a bad start. Not the bad start, horrible, horrible start. It's almost over. Oh, he, he didn't have any buffs. I forgot about that. I'm so new as a candy user that <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, it's it's over. 
Garlos got one shot by the bombs and I don't think there's a comeback here. We got so many debuffs on us and nobody got polymorphed. Like, you know, every everybody on his team could have gotten polymorphed except nice, so that would have been a win condition, but we didn't get it. That that's the only way we could have won this one. Okay. Yeah, either I win or I get destroyed by, you know, those guard accounts with their speed teams. That, that's what happens. I do think we we need to have some, you know, stone skin, stone skin and reaction made speed teams less OP for a while. But lately there have been so many things that made speed teams super OP. I feel like they have never been more OP than they are right now. Not in the not even in the meta like four years ago when every single defense team was actually a speed team. During the during the Tormin meta, where people were running like fast CVs with Tormin and stuff, so that you couldn't speed boost against them and everybody had to build nukers in immunity and so on. Even in that time I feel like speed wasn't as OP as right right now. But we, we need some kind of new thing. Not, not only are we getting champions that kill you through stone skin with like bombs, burns, or they bust you a bit, uh, or they can, you know, Armands can polymorph you through it, and there are so many ways to do it. Marius can bust you stone skin safely and reliably. And we're getting pinpoint and everything else. We need some kind of countermeasures against CC and speed team. I think it's time to I think it's time to buff polymorph to be honest. <laughs> Make sure to clip this and send it to Jock, but I think we need something new. <laughs> we we need a buff to Polymorph or, or something else. <laughs> Probably I can't get the community behind me on this one if I say we see, say we need a Polymorph buff, but there you go. I said it. We, we need something like that. I'm not saying Polymorph buff exactly. Other than as a meme, but we need some kind of new go second like countermeasure. Anyway, another tough opponent. I was saying that I was doing too well and now they're only giving me like um, enemies that have 10, 10k plus points and they're running full full 6 star blessing and, and plus 4 empowerment against me. Uh. I wish I had the last pick actually in, in this battle. But even though we did get the Armands, but I still kind of wish I would. I wanted to go with Rotos against him, honestly. And I feel like picking UDK wouldn't even be useful here because he probably has our base anyway, so. What if I go with Helicat? Then he has to pick a boss tripper. He can't go with our base or UDK if I do this. He has to go with like a local or boss tripper, but I don't know if it's a smart thing to do here. It probably isn't, but let's see what he does. Maybe I should have just gone with Dutchess, but I or Ankara maybe. Maybe that would have been the way to go, but now you know he knows that I'm probably kind of forced to ban the lockout, and he's probably gonna pick a second one. He has plus four warlord, so I'm sure he has multiple other lockout champions as well. Okay, Lazarus makes sense, it's gonna put the block buff to the buff, but it's not the worst thing, so... This could, this could have been worse. I, honestly, I feel like Marius would have been worse in this matchup than Lazarus, so I, I'll take it. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but my headphones were making some noise. Like they were turning on, I, I don't know why. Here, here's a fun fact. Me and Rats happen to have the exact same headphones. I noticed it one time when we were talking in voice. 
just a random factor. Uh, I can't. Now I should say the model. It's something Corsair, whatever. I can't. I can't recall the name of it, out of top of my head. <sighs> Buff strip or revive. He's just gonna die if we do the revive. Let's do the boss trip. Yeah, now we're not gonna... Yeah, he, he would have used the Nuhuk if I didn't do this. It might seem kind of bad that we don't get the block damage on Narsus, but if I did do that, he would have killed Narsus before before he got the block damage. I don't think it even says the model in the headphones. I've had these for like um, maybe like one and a half years and they have been very good. I kind of used to, you know, go for the cheap, cheap ones, like some Chinese headphones from eBay or AliExpress or whatever that cost you like 15 bucks and I I had multiple of those in row. But I, I I actually kind of changed my mind about it. It actually it's better to go for like premium headset. I think those were like 150 or something like that. They are very comfortable and they haven't really, you know, um, eroded that much. Actually, I lied. I changed the, the ear covers once because they eroded, but um, it wasn't a big deal to change them. Actually, I prefer the new new ear covers. <laughs> They, they are even more comfortable than the original ones. Okay. That that was too hard battle for me. L let's be honest. Where did I buy them from? I kind of want to say... Say what the model is, but I... I don't remember which shop I bought them from. Maybe it was from teams. Let me check. Actually, I, no way it was from there. I, I would okay. Here, here's my opinion. Maybe you guys disagree, but I would say now that um. If you buy something like shirts or clothes or whatever, actually, I think you can. I feel like um, you know you can buy those cheap products from AliExpress or eBay or wherever, and more often than not, you know they are the same quality as the ones that you get in retail stores or expensive, you know, brand like uh, web stores, and they're gonna be you know ten times cheaper and more var more variety variety and they are often the same quality or even better but i think for stuff like you know the, the like the big ticket items like in electronics like headset microphone you know camera pc parts those i would buy the good ones i wouldn't go for like some off-brand chinese um graphics cards or, or anything like that I do like to buy my cheap, cheap random stuff from the web stores. Here's a funny story. I think I've probably told it once before on video, or maybe it was on stream actually. Uh, wait. 
Gatsus and Rodos, I think. I feel like Rodos is gonna be horrible and probably I can't ban the Harma. Uh, which one? No, let, let's go with Rodos. Maybe I can go for Harma ban. Let, let's see what he picks. But so... <laughs> I used to have like a couple, you know, like gaming chairs in row. No, not the expensive ones, maybe like... 100 to 150 euros and they lasted for a few years but honestly they weren't that good quality and um, then I got one that my brother was recommending me which was like the one that the one chair that I'm in right now it's not like a gaming chair or anything like that it just it's like maybe like an office chair from IKEA it's called Marcus it's something that my my brother uses and many of his friends actually had it and they recommended it to him. They play League of Legends and they are very high level on that. So they are, you know, fellow fellow uh, gaming addicts and uh, maybe even more hardcore than me actually these days. But um, I got that. I've been super happy with this chair. I recommend it. I don't think I'm going to get another gaming chair, but some time ago, maybe like I want to say six months ago, the leader of MAD was thinking about buying a new chair for his wife and he was asking for recommendations. What chair should he buy? And, you know, I, I think nobody said anything. Like, people were talking, but nobody recommended anything. And I guess people, it seemed like people were shy to, like, say anything because they, you know, they knew that he's going to have, like, you know, <laughs> expensive taste. And then I said that... Um, the Marcus chair from IKEA is super good and I linked it to him and then he saw it and it's maybe like 150 euros or whatever <laughs> and then he said in the chat that uh, if I buy anything less than two thousand dollars like <laughs> anything any chair that's worth less than two thousand dollars if I buy one for my wife or I can't recall if it's his girlfriend or wife I think it's wife if I buy anything less than that for my wife he's gonna divorce me so <laughs> And then, then some, you know, some rich boys in MAD were kind of, you know, memeing about that and linking their expensive, you know, 2,000 plus dollar chairs, which surprisingly many people in in the Discord had like some very expensive ones. There was some one specific chair brand that people were talking about. I can't recall what was the name, but I think it's probably some American thing. And basically like all of their chairs were more than 2,000 and they were like some motorized chairs or some, something like that. <laughs> anyway, this battle was, you know, surprisingly easy. There wasn't that much to say. We, we, this is a matchup that we could totally lose, but we got Polymorph, so if we get that, we're good. I, I risk a couple of the, like, the, or we lost, like, three battles against these big boy accounts. I feel like we could have won any one of them if we got Polymorph, but we just didn't get it against these guys. I, I wish we would have won one of them for Ego Boost. Oh, I, I guess this guy was, like, 9,000 points, so it's not like they were the only ones. And this guy is 7,000 points, but the team he was running, I didn't need Polymorph to win it. Uh, Basshead Drop, I think this guy is a content creator. I think people mentioned it before in the video, let me check. But that, uh, uh, I think maybe he's only Twitch streamer. I don't know him, but one time people told me he's a content creator. Nah, I, I can't find him. <laughs> My bad if he is, I, I can't find. Would be easier to find a YouTube channel than a Twitch channel. Oh, 
Wait, oh, wait, oh, okay, he's streaming right now. Never, never mind, my bad. I did find him. Okay. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, Protoss? Protoss is always the answer if they don't have Harima or UDK or Arbez. Th that's the way it goes on my account. I guess Rotos and, and Datsus and we just pray for the Polymorph box. I don't think I want to go with Ankora here and if we revive with Ankora against the Marius, he can get the extra attack from it too, so let's go with Datsus. Datsus is in Bolster and tanky and has Polymorph, so maybe it works out. Yeah, let's well, banning to charge it for sure. Anyway, this is the guy that we're fighting. Shout out to Bass Head Drop on Twitch. I don't know if he does YouTube. He does? Okay. I couldn't find it when I <laughs> when I tried. Oh, okay, yeah, it's kind of a smaller channel. Anyway. A fellow arena player, I guess. So go check out Bass Head Drop. I mean, he's higher points than me, so... <laughs> I guess there's no guessing. He's more than... More than a thousand points higher, so... Wait, did I leave that on? <laughs> that I don't have any background noise. I don't know if you could hear the Twitch... Like... Voice on the video or not, it might have been distracting, but... I hope it... <laughs> I hope it wasn't on, I'm pretty sure it wasn't, but... I didn't check. You know, I, I'm more of a... I mean, I'm I'm not old, old enough to be boomer, obviously, but I'm more of a boomer YouTube guy than Twitch person. Twitch has never been my thing, but I have known a lot of people that, that do... Um, that stream on Twitch, so that's why I kind of, you know, sometimes follow, follow them specifically, but I have never been Twitch guy, so I'm not as familiar with the raid Twitch content creators. I follow Final Ken Kenpachi, and that's pretty much it, to, to be honest. And I used to follow rats, of, of course. Okay, am I tanky enough? Like, he only has one nuker with the Marius, and he's actually doing a lot of damage. We have very tanky team, but... He is doing still surprisingly high damage. But Marius, you know, he's one of the best champions. He's insanely good, but damage is really not, not the thing that he has. His damage is kind of low, so that's why I thought I could maybe out tank it, but he actually almost killed me already, so not looking good. Who has he polymorph on? Okay, Sifi and M Marius have Polymorph and the other ones don't, so let's not A1 the Sifi, let's A1 the Yumeko. I wish I would have removed the lockout on Datsus, but... We need some Polymorphs here, otherwise I feel like we lost. Yeah, okay, we, we lost. It was super close, it, we could have won it, but now we lost it. The, the Yumeko... A1 lockout is OP. <laughs> I mean, not Yumeka, I mean, uh, Chu Chen. Nah, he's gonna outspeed. Like, my Datsus is like 280 speed or whatever, but he has, you know, speed buff and turn meter boost and everything. Oh, and we got locked out again. Yeah. So he's gonna cut in. I'm, I'm sure my Datsus is faster than his Marius, of course, but he has all of that going on for him, so. Let me show the build that I'm running on Duchess right now. He, she's very tanky, but when they lap me like that and they lock me out like 15 times in a row, that's not really good enough to save the day. I mean, it's good enough we pro if we proc the Polymorph, and uh, that's kind of the point of having a tanky Duchess, is that she's gonna survive long enough to proc Polymorph, but it doesn't always happen. I even have my Duchess in fearsome presence too increase the polymorph procs. 
281 speed, 5000 defense, and 157k health. No, no resistance on her, and no accuracy, but we have the 6 star blessing. I, ca I can't wait to get the 6 star blessing on my narcissist. I think it's actually... I think it's gonna increase my win rate by by a significant margin. Oftentimes, if you just proc it once at right uh, target in the battle, then you win, and otherwise you lose. So it's a huge deal. And I'm always early picking Narses, and I pick it every battle if they don't. So he, he needs it a lot. And that's one of the reasons, by the way, why I'm a big fan of Mord, that you don't need to get 6-star Polymorph on her, because you're gonna build accuracy anyway. It would be better with 6-star Blessing, obviously, if somebody like Sifi is built on high resistance or whatever. But most of the time, the targets that you really want to get Polymorphed are actually not the supports. I mean, it's good to get it on like the Shu Chen or Sifi, but often it's like the Marius or Lazarius or Comidus or whoever of those. If you, if you just get one Polymorph proc, then that means that you can actually get a turn on your nukers and do something against them. Or Harima. <laughs> if we can Polymorph Harima, then my Rotos can go into town and decimate them. This is kind of not, not optimal, because I have to go with the rooster here. But Duchess is spirit affinity. Avidius would be better, but he's, he's not buffed yet, and he doesn't have the gear on. Uh, Why I want to go with... Should I go with Mitral? I mean, it's not like he can ban my... Yumeko, uh, Yumeko. My mod, I feel like he's still gonna have to ban my armor. So let's try this. Let's give it a go. I could go with Necrot too, but let's go with this. Let's go with the defense buff. I'm pretty sure that's a Nuke Wukong, but in case it's not, and he picks another Nuker, we might actually go for Dutch's ban, but I think he's gonna pick like a lockout. Surely that's a nuke, Wukong. Oh, interesting. It's not. I think it's a support then. I think we go for the Duchess ban so that he doesn't get the immunity buff. The Wukong Polymorph is going to be annoying, of course, but we have two nukers, and... We, we, which order do I even want to use? Let's go for the HP auto. We have two nukers, it's not like he can Polymorph both of them. And I think we're going to get a 10, I mean... He doesn't have Lockout or anything like that, so... I don't think he's going to kill my both of my nukers before they get a turn. Yeah, like, maybe he could kill Narsus now, but he's not gonna kill both of them. Uh, also, he doesn't have defense buff. Who has Polymorph? He doesn't have the defense buff for... Oh, fuck. I was too slow. I was meant to do A1. He doesn't have defense buff for Harima, so... He's lacking a bit damage there, but Fatalis damage is actually very good. I know people complain about that, but Fatalis damage is actually good. He he can totally one shot my mod after the stone skin ends. Okay. I don't think we're gonna kill anybody even if we don't get polymorphed here, but we should take them to low HP at least. Okay, that, that wasn't very low, but I guess it, it was without defense buff. But we also got decreased defense on them, and it's gonna last two turns, so 
maybe we can get one nuke in with Narsus before before it ends. Maybe not. Maybe. I feel like surely my Narsus is faster than his Harima. Do I want to use the revive? I don't think I want to use it yet, but he might one-shot my... No, we have to use it. He, he might one-shot my mod now, so... Please don't kill it, please don't kill it. Oh, oh. Okay, we lost, we lost. Fuck. Oh, it's a hybrid, hybrid Wukong. It wasn't the... It wasn't the support one, it, it was hybrid, okay. Okay, we, we lost it. Uh, what should I have done? I think the I think the the issue here was, to be honest, maybe the maybe the car levels were a bit here. It would have been better to have some other other nuker that could have at least killed one of them on the first turn. But we also got polymorphed like on the Mitrala, so that that was kind of you know. If that didn't happen, we probably could have won it. Let's see what's happening on Reddit today. I don't think I checked Reddit out once this week. Wait, that that was a misclick. Gallon or R base? Actually, I wish I would get R base. She's not really considered the best of the multi girls, but R base is very good. You could even run her in classic arena defense, of course. Galatir and Krixia would be better, but after those champions, I think R base is one of the better supports still. Okay, I, I think we're gonna go for the same <laughs> poly polymorph team. Should I go with triple reviver? That would be funny, but maybe I should just... I'm kind of running out of polymorph champions, but it would be good to have one more. I don't want to pick Mikkelke here because of the... Marius matchup. Fuck. Let's go with Necrot. I, I don't think anybody's that crazy here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles raid. I feel like... Um, um, what's his name? Noob, Noob made, made a video about... Um, like... Um, potential raid collapse. It, it was kind of like a meme video about raid collapse. That, they could do with different franchises and I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was in that video and then Plarium co commented on it that they actually considered some of the franchises that they, they were talking about it on the video so who knows this might, this might actually happen you never know okay we'll go with Rodos even against the Harma. I was kind of hoping that he doesn't pick anything like UDK in the end New active code. I don't know where, where they release these codes because I never hear about them. They have like some secret society like where they release some random codes and you will you will think that entire community would always know about them, but I, I never do. Let's try it after the battle, but not like 50 energy and 5 star chicken is gonna <laughs> change my, you know, my life, so...
I haven't been using support Wukong, I think, at all on today's video, but I have been using him a lot lately, so I don't know why not today. I, actually, I do know why. In that one, two battles, I was gonna pick it, but the enemy picked Wukong, so we met it in quite many battles. Maybe I should have saved the whale for later, I was being a little bit dumb there. Does he have li life harvest? Yeah, Python is in it. Okay. Necret cut in at the perfect time. I, I think we're <laughs> we're actually gonna get a turn on, on Narses. Nice. I wish I had nice. I, I it's it's so funny that the name, you know, you say it the same way that you, you would say nice. Ah, that was a mistake. I could have block revived the Wukong. Why, why did I do that? I didn't realize that the buffs were so low duration. Th that, that was a mistake. I could have gotten rid of the Wukong once and for all. I wanted to do big damage on the Nuke, but that, that was a stupid, stupid play from me. Big, big dumb shin. <laughs> and now I got Polymorph because of that. Damn, now I feel so bad because I'm kind of drawing this battle. The Wukong is, you know, obviously a lot faster than my Narsus, so I'm not really getting many chances to take any turns on him, and, and they banned my other Nuker, so I can't really do anything here. I really needed to get rid of the Wukong. Maybe we can get some polymorph procs. I mean, that's always the way to win against these kind of teams. Who does he have polymorph with? Everybody except Python, okay. Yeah, I think Narsus is gonna die now before it, it gets a turn. Yeah, we got Polymorph, but I guess yeah, Nar Narses was ahead of the Duchess in the team order, so he still died. But if Duchess was before Narses, then he would have survived. And that's why I need to get Polymorph on him really bad. So that he gets protected from the nukes or debuffs more often, because I'm always gonna early pick him. I'm still, you know... Okay, nice. No, now we're good. I still don't have too many nukers. Uh, yeah, let's use it now. I don't have too many nukers. And... What do we want to do? I think we just go for A1 and save the A2 for... A3 for later. I can't let, let the enemy have Narsus because then I'm screwed. Which happened in few battles today. I don't have too many good options, so... I always want to early pick him. Uh, should I do the heal now or not? He, he only has two buffs, but maybe if he does the immunity accidentally. I feel like he's not gonna do it, but if he does, maybe we could get a block revive. Or maybe if he steals buffs. Okay, I, I could have done more damage on the Ideon because I could have removed the defense buff, but it didn't happen. We still have one turn left of the whale, like even when he takes a turn now, so he can target my uh, my Narsus. Wait, can I kill it? Nah, let's just keep going at the Python. Python basically never gets used anymore but here's a fun fact a little bit flex you know but it's true um i have finished rank 2 with python in my defense 
nobody in this game has ever finished same rank or higher than me in Classic Arena using Python. So make out of that what you will, but there's a flex. I'm I'm gonna take it to my grave. No, nobody's ever gonna do better with Python than I have done. So suck it. A little bit of copium, but it's it's true. So. And I remember the week that I got, like, I think that was the week that Python was released. Or, you know, the fusion ended that you could ha have him. Um, Timo, Timo 2A was, I think, running the exact same defense as me. With Python as well. And I was I was farming the crap out of him with Kala. I don't remember what rank he finished, but it it was less than me, let's put it that way. I, I, I don't recall. I, we could find the old picture, you know. Mad has all of those old resets, but I, I'm pretty sure he didn't. He, I, there's no way he finished top three, but I want to say that he didn't finish in top ten. But I'm not sure. I, I, I think I hit him like seven times in the last ten minutes or something like that. It was nothing personal, but I knew that I can't lose to his team with my offense team, and it was just a safe battle. And he was very high. Um, damn, what do we do? He was very high points. Ah, oh, fuck. He, he didn't even die today. Okay, should I take a risk with day one? He was very high points. He was a good farm for me, but I hit him so many times in the last 10 minutes that I'm pretty sure he didn't get top 10, but maybe he did. I, I would have to look, look back on it. M Mad has like every single top top 20 from like since the clan was created in their discord so th th if you really want to find like specific week what was the top 20 go go ask them and they might give it to you i'm always making mad and ipr every single <laughs> every single reset after it i ask for the top 20 leaderboards and i think was it the last week or the week before it Neither one of them had the top 20, and they were asking me if I have top 20 leaderboards, and I was also asking other people from their class, so it didn't work out. Okay, finally we can we can get rid of the Wukong. We could have done it eons ago, but I, I screwed it. I don't know if I have enough damage to really kill him anymore with the life harvest, but we can get the block revives in the right situation, so maybe that's the way to go. No, I pro probably with, you know, the, the ally attack, and if I just don't get polymorphed, I can do enough damage to si still kill him. Wukong polymorphing Narsus every other time he could get a turn was the big issue here. In this battle, I kind of wish I actually had Ankara because of the synergy that they have together. If I had Ankara, we could. Um... Oh, yeah. If I had Ankara, we could get extra turns when we get a kill on the A3. Now we're not getting it. I don't know if he wanted to kill the mort there, because now I'm just gonna get the whale up. Yeah, I can't kill it with the A1, I have to go for the A3. I feel like he probably would have killed my Narsus on this turn if he 
you didn't kill Mord on the last one. I wish I had life harvest now. It, <laughs> him having it and me not having it is kind of be, becoming an issue in, in this battle. Wait, wait, wait. I think my A3 is on cooldown now. Oh. Yeah, and Harima is gonna take turn before it anyway. He can still get three buffs on Harima. So we could we could still potentially get the block revive on her at some point. Damn, this is kind of a stalemate. I feel like I can win, but it's gonna be a very long battle. <laughs> I hope this one long battle is not making this video boring. You can just skip skip this one if it's a little bit uh, dull. But okay, wait, is it gonna end? Now it's looking super bad. Okay, maybe it just ended now. Okay, we're finally... <laughs> I was gonna say we're finally done, but I guess not. Aaron G. Jesus didn't want to end it yet. But now my Narciss lost even more max HP, so we have like no damage. Okay, we lost this one. Let's just let's just give it up. I feel like I would have won the battle if I didn't miss, didn't do wrong turn on like early on. If I didn't buff strip the his team, like was it like the, literally the first more turn? We would have gotten rid of the Wukong. I wouldn't have lost HP and. I would have had the damage to kill him, but happens. Oh, I had to... <laughs> good reminder, let's see if this code works. Sometimes I see, you know, uh, Ash and Boots or and Smiley and those people, they make videos about the codes, but I always hear about the codes, you know, like thousand years afterwards. And sometimes they get insane views on, on the codes. I should do videos about the codes, but you know, I'm hearing about it one day too late, so I'm sure many people have already made a video about it, so it's too late to do it now. I think, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like surely it is. And I know most of people watching my videos, you're not gonna care about um, a promo code video. I understand, but you know, it's kind of like the same... Okay, here's some inside baseball about my channel. Obviously, I am making money out of this and I'm trying to grow the channel. So, you know, I have plans to make videos for MMOs later on and try to make much bigger channel there. And I'm kind of, you know, practicing in Raid. But um, I obviously want to grow the channel and make more money. W who doesn't? And. Live Arena videos is the most popular thing in my channel outside of some occasional videos that hit bigger than my average but Live Arena videos is the most popular ones but Live Arena videos literally get me like zero new subscribers I never get any subscribers from those videos Where do I get these sub subscribers from? Well, you might have seen lately that I have done a few shard pull videos <laughs> There you go, that's like the only videos where I get new subscribers outside of like some occasional champion guides if I if I make a champion guide for like a okay here like funny thing so the mod guide wasn't a popular one I knew it was wasn't gonna be popular because nobody gets it but one random video that probably made most subscribers for me on my channel is my Bracus guide people seem to seem to love the Bracus guide it's like a year old video one of the first videos that I ever did and that one always gets me like new subscribers every now and then. Still, more than a year after 
I made the video. But I basically never get any new weavers from live arena videos or any kind of arena videos. So I need to make other content if I actually want to grow the channel. If you got any ideas, then hit me up. But I have kind of tried a bunch of things on summer actually. I you know I've done some collabs. I've done some. Uh, I did hide the video recently, not not really because of that, but I've done random content that I wouldn't have done before. Kind of trying to get new subscribers. I'm just keeping it 100% real here. Live Arena is, you know, the, the bread and butter of my channel, but I need to do other stuff too. It literally doesn't grow the channel at all. The Live Arena videos, you know, Obviously, sponsored videos make the majority of your money if you make content, like vast majority. But um, in terms of the YouTube ad revenue, live arena videos make much more money than other other videos that I make. So in that in that like perspective, they are like you know my most um, popular videos and they make the most money. But I still need to do other stuff than than those. I mean, they are my favorite videos generally to do, don't get me wrong, but if I actually want to make content, I I can't just do live arena videos. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise Biohack would be the biggest content creator in Raid by now, but he isn't, and maybe he should be, but he's not. And yeah, I think we're yeah, we're gonna go with this. I could almost consider going with candy here, but nah, let's not do it. Okay, nice. By the way, okay, I think he's talking about the fusion. I don't think he's a fellow mod enjoyer, actually. Do I want to go for the... Let's... Okay. I don't know if I should have banned Yumek. I probably should have banned, like... One of the nukers, honestly. Okay, what? Okay. I wasn't expecting him to do it. I guess he was expecting me to... Not ban the Yumeko. But he actually... Okay. That... 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 Played out perfectly, even though I screwed it up, but... <laughs> Sometimes they are... They are good choices. Like normally he would always ban the Armands, but I think he was expecting me to not ban the Yumeko. Which I was gonna do, but I was just too slow and I, I wasn't able to decide who I want to ban, but it, it played out perfectly. Nice. I didn't deserve this, but I'll take what I can. I was getting pummeled by those Giga Chat accounts, so I'll take a win if I if I'm given given it. Well, we, we still need to not get polymorphed here if we wait. He only has polymorph on Narcissus. <laughs> this is like my best chance to actually get a win. Right now Narcissus is polymorph, so we can't even get polymorph. I don't think we're No. Ah, we got the Enfeeble and Narcissus is gonna come back out of it the next turn and I bet we're gonna get polymorphed when we do the A2. Fuck. I would have killed the uh, Marius if I have gotten, if I didn't get enfeebled. I probably wouldn't have killed the Ankara right there to be honest. She had the defense buff and she's tanky. Okay, Bod is gonna go first, so. We might be good here, actually. As long as we don't get polymorphed by... Okay, okay, let's play it safe, yeah. Let's polymorph the Narcissus just to make sure that he can polymorph us and now we're good. Okay, I I think we won. I, I don't think we can lose at this point. Sure. We're, we're gonna have the A2 again the next turn. We, we can spam it now.
Uh, oh, oh, okay. That was about to go bad. He got revenge accessory proc, but he got polymorph. So nice. I feel like the Mariuses that I battled against today, they should have gotten polymorph way more times than, than they did. And probably it would have been better in some other battles than this one, but I'll take what I get. I'm, I'm getting super excited by re winning some random 5k point opponent that doesn't even have any mythicals and he doesn't have like 6 star blessings so it's like a hello, hello, you know, journeyman, free to play, low spender, whatever. It's not like this is a giga whale account, so. If anything, I shouldn't lose against this guy, probably. Okay, 20 minutes left. Let's get week 4 wins and we could break the 5.9k mark. Okay, another opponent that is barely gold for, like, me, so... By the way, I was talking about the ad, ad revenue and so on. There's gonna be a few ads in the last, um, not last, in the few upcoming weeks. Don't get mad. I know sometimes people get mad at um, ads, but I think both of the two ads that I'm gonna have probably next week, not not pr promising, but pretty sure I'm gonna have like two different ads next week. Both of them are for products that I actually. Um, I think are useful. I wouldn't even be opposed to making videos about them if, if they weren't ads because I think they are useful, so don't don't get too mad about it. I've actually turned down a few ads that were for <laughs> for products that I didn't advertise, not that I'm you know trying to high road or anything like that, but I did do that and these ads are actually something that I think are not um some people will find very useful. W one of these, I don't know how much I should actually speak about them, but let's say that one of the things that I'm going to add is for newer players and the other one is not. Other one is for basically anybody. That product, I was testing it out like two weeks ago. It was actually super convenient and I'm using it, so I recommend it to you guys, but I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> You'll, you'll see it when you see it, and yeah. Th these are both related to raid, these are not like random, um, not like energy drink ad or anything like that. Not that I would be opposed to doing something like that, but I am opposed to doing like crypto stuff, let's put it that way. There, there has been some, some of those things offered before. I'm comfortable playing like some new mobile games and trying it out and making a video about it and you know even making a video about it and not just um, not, not just a normal ad but crypto stuff and those kind of you know scammy things I'm not super happy about okay he doesn't have Marius and he's running the lockout which we can't avoid so let's go with Ankara on this battle They were talking, well actually, maybe I shouldn't talk about it. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about it. Probably, I'm pretty sure I can because it's not like I signed any agreements on that one. But yeah, let's not talk about this. Usually, like in like full um, transparency, obviously, when we do make advertisement deals, we, like there's a contract and there's always something in the contract that you can't uh, talk crap about this thing for like a year or something like that. It might be even more than that, but if I haven't done any deals, I guess I could technically talk. <laughs> I'll say my opinion about some products that I decline, but let's not do that. Anyway. I want to get more ads, so maybe I shouldn't... <laughs> maybe I shouldn't talk bad about things, even if I... If, even if I'm not going to do their deals. <sighs> I, I feel like we could do this, but we're going to get destroyed by the nice block revive and there's not really much that we can do about it. Un unless we get A1 proc here and we get reaction proc. Come on. Don't die, Narcissus. Wait. Okay, he, he probably doesn't know that, but he could sleep my Narcissus now. Okay, he, he didn't know. <laughs> he, he hit the wrong target. So the way that I'm gonna pass it works, it doesn't protect your Narcissus. It protects your champion with highest crit damage, which will be my... Protoss, not Narcissus, so he could have actually slept my nar Narcissus, but looks like we didn't get the RNG I was hoping for. It was actually the... No, okay, that worked out. We got the A3 and not the A2, but oh, never mind, that actually worked out. Better than I thought. I think we had two turn cooldown on the A2, if I was not mistaken, but I think we got like the... Uh, the proc from Offense Tree that if you do like... 30% of enemies max HP you have a chance to reduce your cooldown and recall the numbers on that skill. Let's look it up. Uh, let's. Like, I don't think we can kill the knives now. I think if we hit it, it's just it's not even gonna die. Yeah. It has the stupid passive. I, I hate it. Okay, please have enough accuracy, but I, I think we do. What? Oh, what? I feel like we can reduce the duration if, even if it's protected, or can we not? Did, did the Narcissus get block revived or not? I'm not even sure if he did. It lets me block revive for some reason when Nice does it, but if he was block revived, we can't, uh, it will block it, and we will lose the turn and the skill. I didn't see if he got block revived. I feel like he didn't, but he could have. Are we good? <laughs> like, dude, I want to get nice so bad. Nice is so OP. I, I, I would not complain about any champion ever if I just get like one nice in like any time soon it would be so good I, I would have a, like not a field field day but like a field year if I could just get nice I, I I would I would use it in every live arena battle every um every classic arena offense battle and classic arena defense and everything would be so good I think we lost. I think that's it. Even though uh, Aphidius is getting buffed, but damn, I wish I got nice instead of Aphidius.
Okay, he, he, he's done. And to, to be honest, I feel like that guy didn't even have good gear because I I see people like the block revive skill, he was doing like 50k. I see people doing like 120k on it, so I feel like his gear can can't be that good either. But the nice is just so so strong champion. No, no no offense to him, but I've seen them hit like way harder than that one was hitting. By the way, I'm not going to say this guy's name, but one thing I like about trade is that they are not that, you know, they are not that hard about the names. I know, I know there's some horrible moderators that bully the chat. People complain about it to me all the time. Outside of those people, you know, the actual Plarium like uh, employees, they are not really moderating the names a lot. So first of all, you can use all kinds of symbols that are not allowed in basically any other game. But you can kind of have have all sorts of meme meme names if you want, as long as you know few specific moderators don't find about it. But not like not community managers, but like player player moderators. Uh, should I pick UDK against the... Hmm, he does have Mika Keto. Yeah, let's, let's just go with Rodos and U UDK. I'm also 5 star blessing on Rodos. I kind of changed my mind about it. Rodos was more, I mean, UDK. UDK was more meta a while ago than he is right now. He's still used, but not as much as he used to be. And I decided to go for Narses 6 star instead of UDK. This was like when Narses was released. I'm still gonna go for 6 star blessing on UDK at some point, but I think I'm probably gonna go for Angora before I go for UDK, so it might take a while, and who knows, maybe we get some new champions in the meantime, so I don't know if it's gonna happen, but maybe at some point. Okay, this played out actually kind of good, so we banned the Harima, he banned the Armands, he didn't, he didn't call my bluff on this one. And we're gonna have UDK against the George. Now, he does have the ally attack from Mikage, so he can do something. He does have multiple boss strips and so on. But hopefully UDK is gonna buy me a little bit of time. Yeah, and once again, the Galatir is gonna get cucked by the Marius, uh, not Mo Marius, Mord passive. I don't know why Narsus went before, because I think my Mord is like 20 speed faster, but I guess we proc the um, mastery that we get turn meter on Narsus and not not in on Mord, but usually Mord would go first and get rid of the, yeah, get, get rid of the block active skills debuff on both of my nukers. And then we can just have a field day. It's it's the best. More is super good. Make sure to um, get her. I I would I would so okay that was slow. I would so if I was you guys again. This fusion, for instance. Feel free to disagree with me 
But if I was you guys and you don't have more, I would skip, not, not skip, but I would farm the fragments of this fusion and buy more ones and not actually finish the fusion. We're kind of conditioned to try to finish every single mediocre or crappy fusion, but you shouldn't feel too bad about it. Like, there's a good argument for finishing them and maybe you get dupes and you can get, oh fuck, and maybe you can get faction guard, I think we're good, maybe you can get faction guardians, but if you don't need that, and even if you need that, you're not guaranteed to get it. You're unlikely to get it, actually. It's super... Um, damn, he's getting the passive like every other turn. It's super useful to go for mod. I would totally skip like multiple fusions in future, as long as they're not super good ones, to get her. Like, I literally would have normally 0% chance to beat this guy. I should never be able to beat this team with Galatir. There's no other ways to deal with Galatir other than, you know, RNG Polymorph. Like, you need to proc Polymorph from the first 10, on the first champion in your team order. Maybe you can win that way, but they can build them even in pinpoint accessories in the, like, in the future or right now, but you're gonna see more of it in the future. There's no other way in the game to counter Galatir other than going first. And only thing that you can do, that anybody can do, is having a mod. So you totally should do it and get yourself a mod. I, I knew my, my mod guide was gonna bomb because so few people have her and she's not popular. But maybe if I chill for a mod for years, maybe, maybe people will watch that video in, in the future. Here you go. How to win with mod. Most underrated PvP champion. 1.8k views. And usually when I do champion guides, they generally do better than my average video. So people do like watching guides, but I don't want to make guides on every random champion that I don't use, that I don't have anything to say about. B but the few ones that I did, I had something to say about them. I wanted to make one for mod as well. Like, I did a guide for Narsus. That one wasn't super popular. I think because probably, you know, not everybody got, got him, even though he's kind of doable to get. But I think that was a very good guide and it had some very useful information, so it was worth doing. And Basically, you know, most videos that you do on Raid, this doesn't apply to, you know, every type of video on YouTube. But Raid videos are like, you know, basically daily vlogs or whatever. Most videos don't get any views after a couple days. The few types of videos that do are guides, for instance. So they might get more views even like after a year. N not a lot, but it adds up. But most Raid videos are not going to get like any views after first two days. Okay, our base, I think this might be a Wukong battle for me actually. Yeah, let's go with Wukong and Duchess. Yeah, let's go with this. I'm still leaning on actually picking Rotos, but let's first see what he does and then we can decide. Yeah, okay, we're, we're totally gonna go, go with Rotos. Rotos might be able to kill him through the Alas block damage and we might polymorph the Mario, so it's good. Oh, okay. I was kind of half expecting that he might actually go for the Wukong ban, but we were kind of putting him into a checkmate. No, not checkmate, like a check that he could either ban the Wukong or Narsus, but in either case we had... He couldn't totally, like, destroy us. We, we can do something against this team. 
Um, I didn't think I... Yeah, we don't want to open with the boss trip, so... Let's open with the polymorph on on Alas, actually. Not not Marius, but Alas. Okay, nice. That's the main reason that <laughs> that we're running the Duchess, honestly, is to get the polymorph procs and having a tanky tanky reviver. But her actual abilities, like the revive and the A2, they are not that useful. We they usually don't do anything for us. Okay, if we proc the Helm Smasher, we're definitely gonna kill Ankara. If we don't, I don't think she's gonna die, but okay, we didn't. Sucks. But I, I don't think we can lose at this point. I think we won. Polymorph is too OP. Time to buff it. Make sure to let Drog know about it. It's time to buff polymorph who, who does he have polymorph on only our base D this guy this guy doesn't know what's good he he, he should have more of it yeah he, i mean he, he doesn't have like six star blessing and i guess those people don't have accuracy so it makes sense but he should go out of his way to try to get it should we just go for... Okay, we can get the block pass step off now. Okay, yeah. I was gonna save it for the stone skin, but... No, we, we can do it. Rotos OP, I mean, he doesn't always get to shine, but when he does, he's still very good. I love the Rotos passive, it's, it's the best thing for go second slow box like me. Oh, 20 seconds, okay, quickly, quickly. One last battle, come on. We're not gonna get 5.9k, but let's get one more win. Rastula. That, that's an odd name. It almost sounds like something that you could say in Finnish. No, let's not do it yet. I I do like picking UDK against Stiffy, so I hope he doesn't go with them and we'll go with Trotos UDK, but let's see what he does first. Okay. Definitely gonna go with that. Shu Chen. Okay, um... I think we're gonna ban the geese mark actually. I was expecting lockout, but Chu Chen does make sense too. Uh, should I waste the cleanse or... No, I think I, I can use it. <laughs> oh, 
what, what about this one? Should I... Should I save it for after the... No, let's use it. After the passive of the Seekrun, but this is gonna be a short battle. We're gonna lose it fast if I don't end it, so... Let's heal us up and see if we can put some pressure onto him. Siegfried can end this battle in one turn, so we don't really, you know, we don't want to prolong this battle. Okay, that didn't hit very hard. Obviously, he didn't proc Helm Smasher, Helm Smasher there, but even with without the proc, that was kind of low damage actually. I didn't want to use Rodos A2 or 3 because either one of them, like, we would have used the ability, ability but we wouldn't have killed him. Even if we did the A3, he would negate the damage and get the block damage. We would actually not kill him through it because it negates the original hit. So that's why I just used A1. And even if I used A2, it wouldn't have stolen HP. That, that's the way Seekron passive works. Okay, we we bullied this 4.8k guy, we banished him back to the gold tree. It's a fine fine way to end the video. I think that's that's about it. I would say as a final word that skip this skip this fusion, get the fragments for a mod, thank me later. If you think I'm I'm giving horrible advice then debate me in the comments, but that's it, have a nice weekend, see ya.